Okay, here with the bus. So, uh, if you get these short, <laughs> I'm laughing. But if you get these shark bites at uh, Lowe's, they are shark bites. They're a uh, shark bite e Evo packs. It's for the packs. They're a one-time use, guys. <laughs> I stuck it on there to see if it was the right one. You you don't take them back off. But it's alright because it's at the end and I can still make my pieces. And I got all all the little adapters and whatnots and uh got some wire. We got uh the pump came in. The switch box came in. Uh these are same thing as what I already got, the shutoffs. For the battery uh, my heater came in that's gonna be on the I'm gonna take this and put it on the outside of the bus and I took it with me to Lowe's or wherever you go your hardware store take it with your stuff with you you know you get the right stuff and I got this is a fun one I went ahead on the bottom here. It's got two in, one in, two in, or one in, and one out. It comes with this uh, hose, but I'm doing away with that. And I got the the shark bite. Uh, that's the brand. And this is going to screw onto the bottom of the tank, like where the red is. A hot side and I got one for the cold side it's set on the outside and the, the pex is gonna come through I was gonna use the other pex the actual expanding pex but they don't sell the parts at Lowe's no more so I had to get the crimp that's what all this is crimps and I bought the tool off Amazon I ended up paying like 20 bucks or something I think it was I don't exactly remember it wasn't real expensive you get one in Lowe's the cheapest one was like $80 got some wire the wire is for this right here it's a it's a uh interface or whatever reducer that's what I call it what it does is takes takes 12 volts and put output at uh 10 volt or 12 volts at 10 amps so in current 12 out in current is 24 out is 12 because I'm running everything off my bus batteries are 24 set up so that's at 10 amps now I might have to get something bigger because this right here this this one right here it's got a dual flow what it actually does is when you got your main pressure on it goes up to 55 I think it's adjustable but it pressure but if you barely crack your faucet so the the pump ain't surging it goes bypasses it slowly and it's a low power draw it says i'll show you the other piece in a minute doesn't doesn't really say anything on amps let's we'll look on the back here I didn't find anything. It might say something on the inside. If you read all the stuff, I'll have to read it. But I'll try it first. It might work just on the 10 amps. But there it is. 
And then we got this. This is what I'm gonna do if I can get this. To, there you go. A lot of people do this different ways. I'm doing it my this my way. I bought this Amazon like twelve bucks. It it's capable up to six hundred volts. That's what it says. Six hundred volts at thirty amps. Ain't nothing in the bus that's gonna be over thirty amps. This is going to be mounted somewhere accessible near the back wall, whatever. And number two will be, say, solar solar power. It, that uh, if you got your uh, inverter on, it would go there. But if you're camping somewhere and you had electric, you turn it over and turn it to a uh, stir power and the way I'm going to do it is when you turn it it's both when you when you turn the one it turns this side and this side on both these turn on or if you turn the other one turns the other side on blah blah whatever so I'm going to take the two out here I'm going to hook all these together on one side I got to figure out which one it is first. It does tell you. Well, anyway, I'm going to hook one side all together. And they go into my solar. Or into my uh, panel. So whatever which one you turn on, it's gonna come out of here and go to the panel. Comes with a whole bunch of uh, stuff to do. I I took this along too. I take everything to Lowe's. Sometimes people are looking at you. Hey, but what's the sense to not take your project with you? And then get home, home or whatever, and it doesn't work right. Because I had to go back down today, I had to return some stuff because I was hoping so I said I could get them expansion fittings, but they didn't have them, so I had to switch out. And I got the barrel fittings, and we decided we're only going to put. This is one heck of a camera. Look how good it still looks. I decided I'm going to move all the batteries. From over here, I'm going to slide, move them over here. Let me get back here. It's a little nippy back here. It's because the window is cracked. But all the solar is right, going to be over here now. All the battery solar set up to be here. And then all this is just going to move it. All I'm going to do is whoop, move it over. Batteries, whoop, move it over. And then this will be the water side. That way, the water... Because if I did a barrel there and a barrel here, the water is going to be going around this stuff. And I didn't want to take a chance. So, what I'm going to do is... Uh, one barrel... Over here, one barrel. It's 55 gallon, 58 gallon barrel. So, 50 gallons of water should be plenty for now. Just got to fill it up every so often. And then... And it's set up probably on a platform and then it's gonna have an outlet for uh your garden hose uh, let's see what the batteries are there were 20 26 26 4 26 4 we're doing good uh yeah that was about it and uh me and Dave were just down here. We got the parts for this. He, he actually had some of these. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I think some stuff I wrong over and he had some stuff. Because they're 11 bucks a piece. So all we got to do is uh, start putting it together. Start running that PEX. I bought 20 foot of PEX. And this bus 
from here, from this part back, is 27 foot. So I can buy more of this if I need a shorter sticks. So what I'm gonna, it's gonna come in here. It'll come in here and tee off on the one. What it's gonna do is, it'll come in, come in there, tee off. Then it's gonna go into this. And then off of this is gonna go one of these uprights like this two of these this will go for your uh i don't know a valve but for your shower valve or what it's called and then we're going to tee off again under the sink you're still going to go through but it's going to tee off to the sink same same thing right here now it's going to do the sink and all the rest of the fittings and stuff or little elbows and whatnot for in the rear. And I got new up. Uh, I bought it's new, but I bought this at uh low I mean I lose Goodwill. Sometimes you can get some good stuff. I don't know if it'll work or not, but it's a trap. We'll see if it works on the sink. If not, someone can use it. So yeah, we are set set to jet. And turn this off, I guess. And the toilet is over at the house. I got to call my two hundred dollar toilet. Yeah, I learned putting the uh, mounting that seat back, putting this back while well, tacking this on, putting the seat back. We put that seat back. We can go for a ride. And I got the stuff for this piece of all thread uh I don't even know where I put it down there piece of all thread check it hey, this thing does work good oh, alright anyway and then what we're gonna do is I'll make a bracket back here and a bolt, bolt in here or whatever and then the all thread will come by and I'll put some type of styrofoam or something in here so it ain't smashing all the way. Then it's going to come by and just, it's going to, it's going to be a little hook or whatever. Boop. And it'll tighten up and it push it back. So. That's it. I mean, if you like what we got for the bus uh, and stuff, give a thumbs up. If you didn't, at least uh, put a thumbs down. At least watch anyway. Uh. Please subscribe and bye till later. Thanks for watching.